Okay, we are on Libra singles. Okay, so I ended up doing a Libra couples reading just now. So that could actually be for a single person going into a relationship. So I'll try to link up the two videos later on when they all upload. And now I am on All Signs Singles um, Libra. All right, who's coming towards you? All right, so let's try different cards. All right, so first let's see who's coming towards you, okay. Air sign, Jupiter. Okay. Fire sign. And Uranus, that could be Taurus or Air Aquarius. <laughs> All right, so we got Air and Fire. Oh, okay. So also with this, this could be like polar opposite energy, right? Okay, so I feel like what you want to do moving forward is. Uh, learning how to temper your emotions, right, uh, in a not-so-extreme way, like balancing out your, your thoughts and how you express those thoughts. Okay, and I feel like that's going to bring you big shifts in your love life. And luck, then you'll feel like luck is going to be on your side even. Okay, now... I feel like there's another sign here. Hold on. Okay. So I'm getting Aries with that. And I feel like that's you. I feel like you're harnessing this energy to get things accomplished is what I'm getting here. Okay. Okay. So what's important to you, though, should be, well, there's no shoulds, what is important, okay, let me rephrase, how you set your priorities is very important here. Mercury is all, also health, so it's important because health is wealth, so it's important to prioritize that accordingly, and that's coming up here, okay, so... Make sure you're taking time to feel good, right? Because you can't come together with another being. You can come together with another being, but when you do, you want to uh, feel good. So I feel like that's really important. And then look at the sun peeking out here. Okay, so I feel like that is also representative of this Aries energy that you've been harnessing. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I feel like some of you had a couple of relationships with earth signs. Okay, so I feel like it would have worked out if oh, for some of you this is your water that went into the polar opposite energy too, okay. Hmm. Okay, but let me just do one thing at a time. Okay, for some of you, you had a couple of relationships with earth signs. So the message is, why don't you try something else? <laughs> okay. All right, so there's that message, okay. And, um, yeah. Give something else a shot, right? Now, what I feel like you were reaching for, though... Okay, now I get it. Okay. What you were reaching for is this nurture energy, okay? And nice conversations, open. You wanted someone who was open and communicative, but you weren't, okay? Because this is for the one who has water in their chart close to it so moon or rising okay so you wanted someone who was like healthy and happy who was socially open 
and uh, but you weren't doing that. And if you were, you weren't opening up. Maybe you thought you were opening up. I feel like you weren't. Okay. So it's like not saying how you really feel in your heart. Okay. So it doesn't matter what sign they are. What you have to do is change your pattern. That's what I'm seeing here. So you want to... You wanted someone that was nurturing. This earth energy is very nurturing. It's a mother energy. It's like Gaia earth energy. And it, it's very pleasing to be around. Okay. Now. Okay. So, of course, there are different degrees of that, right? Depending on what's going on. So, now. But what I am getting is that was a call for you to give yourself love, to give yourself self-care in health. Hi, puppy. It's too hot to go outside right now. Okay. You want to go outside? <laughs> give me a minute, okay? Okay. All right, so... Doing that, like practicing communicating just in your everyday, opening up more every day, just in your everyday life, is going to help you in your love relationship. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you had really good times with a Taurus. Okay, so. Yeah, see, this is not opening up. You you were crazy about this person and you didn't open up all the way. It takes trust, right? You got to trust more. Right, and here's the sun. That That's the representing the, the sun transit in Aries. So I feel like you're in the doing mode. So you want to be open to receive, and that's why you're attracted to that uh, energy, that nurturing energy. It didn't have to be an earth sign, but um, that's what I feel like. You're in, you were really connected to a person that was very nurturing to you, but perhaps you didn't set your priorities right, and they maybe felt like uh, they weren't appreciated or loved. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Okay, so this could be going towards a Pisces, but this could be towards the end of your relationship with the earth sign. Uh, things weren't so positive. And then so uh, maybe you separated, and but you still want to work on it here. Okay, and then here it's, okay, so this is what I'm getting, ebb and flow. So it's like one minute you're in love and the next minute you're not. Okay, it's like that kind of energy. Yeah, but see, it takes this kind of full energy. Whatever, it doesn't matter who you go towards. It's going to take this trusting the universe kind of energy. Okay, and being playful again. And taking a leap in faith. And moving with your magic. And that's the next card. And I feel like that's the component that you feel like is missing, is love. Okay. But it's here. So you just have to, this is kind of a theme going through all the signs. You have to make space. You have to make space for the love. This was the next card. 
you have to make space for the love. And you do that through this hermit. So Pisces energy here or earth energy. Okay, so it's like reflecting, going in, doing the more dream work, right? And then moving in the physical, doing that. Because in the bottom is this page of wands. So wherever you go, you want to take love with you, right? Okay, not just, you know, uh, you know. Anyway. <laughs> That's my time. Okay, so anyway, so it, it may take self-reflection. Okay, and think about some of the same things you did in past relationships and see if you could change that up to bring in this Ten of Pentacles that is meant for you. This is everything. Happy life, happy home. Okay, I'll leave you with that. <laughs>